Hi there. Can two speaker drivers share the same volume inside of a cabinet, like inside of a, a speaker box? So like sit with the same cavity behind them? That's the question. The first question you need to ask is, do these speaker drivers actually use the volume of the box? Because there is some speaker drivers that don't use the cavity of the box for anything. And let me just quickly show those. Uh, many tweeters do not use the box for anything. It just kind of like is mounted there for you know getting the wire to it and so forth. The front plate of the speaker does have an effect on the response of the tweeter. That's not to be covered in this video. That's not so important. I mean, just to, to kind of get started kind of thing. So yes, so these can share the room with any driver inside of that same cavity, you know, the same uh, enclosure and volume. So that's one. If it in fact has a hole back here, it's open in some way or form, where it has access to the membrane here in the front, you will need also some kind of dividing uh, box for it. Uh, so the whole thing that is important to understand about this is that, that you don't have like a giant speaker driver producing a lot of pressure inside the box that's gonna end up pushing the little drivers, you know, way out in and out and that will also produce a lot of distortion which is incredibly clear is going on it will sound pretty bad so the other driver that uh, i want to talk about i don't have it physically here but let's see it here um, and that is a closed back mid-range so those are like the, this kind of driver but like completely sealed all the way around here like so it's a closed environment again so that the air from inside the box that the woofer is producing is not getting into the membrane you know which is moving the air and again would produce distortion so those two can share room with any woofer or another mid-range for that matter and so the second question is when you get to that is that are they the same model so in this case here we have two identical drivers and so far we're good to go and the reason why they have to be uh, the same model is that they will have different uh, performance um, compared to how the box sizes and also sensitivity and phase phase which is time essentially and how it responds uh, throughout this um, um, which is something that happens because of the load uh, inside of the, uh, the the driver which is not linear i know there's now i'm throwing a lot of uh, maybe heavy expressions out but it's it makes that there's a time difference occurring between voltage and current and and so depending on how the speaker driver is made it's going to have a certain um, scenario of that going on uh, throughout the frequency span so that's why that two different drivers is a bad idea to put inside of the same area because one is going to do one thing and the other one is going to do something slightly different and so they're not going to have optimal environment for producing the sound that you want and particularly because of the distortion if you really want to produce something nice <clears throat> the last one which is are they supplied by the same source is probably what you can imagine. It's a little bit like the, the one before, is that are they the same model where it has some differences in phase and impedance and so forth and sensitivity? That is that if you have, like say the left channel from your music going to one, you got the right channel going to the other. Then you will have, because of stereo, 
you will have different sounds going to each one. Maybe not predominantly. The pressure inside the box will translate over to the other one and do something. And again, a, um, a source of, for distortion. So, let's wrap that up. So it's important that, that um, you know, to consider this one last fact, you know, it's like, but more importantly, if they share room, let them be the same model. And really, really important is not to mix uh, woofers together. And if you're gonna have a mid-range and a woofer, it's important that the mid-range is covered so that the woofer doesn't start driving the mid-range. And if you have a tweeter, which is typically no problem, you still need to look at the back and see if there's a cavity going all the way in. And that will also, that can, you can experience that on some rip and tweeters. All right, I think that's good. I think it's probably beaten to death now uh, about how to, which drivers can go together in the same cavity, like in the same box. All right, take care guys. I hope you liked it. Comment down below if there's any questions or an idea for a new video. All right, bye.